Thanks for pressing play. This is Christopher Lockhead, Follow Your Different. And we are sponsored by the good folks at Oracle NetSuite. Learn how to turbocharge the growth of your business today and set up a free one-hour growth review with an expert in your industry at netsuite.com slash different. On this episode, it's just you and me. Uh, I wanted to have a conversation with you about an article I saw a little while ago in TechCrunch written by a venture capitalist named Jake Chapman. I don't know Jake, but I thought he did a wonderful job on this article, shining a light on a topic that we really need to shine a light on. The headline of the article says, investors and entrepreneurs need to address the mental health crisis in startups. And so that's what I wanted to do on uh, this episode. So without any further ado, hey ho, let's go. All right. Um, in, in the article, which will be in the show notes for this episode, if you want to get to this specific article, Jake references a study by a guy named Michael Friedman, which will also be referenced in our show notes. And so I want to give you some of the data about founders' mental health because it was, um, you know, it was very, um, let me say, uh, illuminating or elucidating for me. So in no particular order, founders are two times more likely to have depression six times more likely to have ADHD, 3x more likely to have some form of substance abuse. They are two times more likely to have been hospitalized for some kind of a psychiatric condition. They report having uh, two times more than normal uh, suicidal thoughts, and they are 10x more likely to be bipolar. So look, I, I don't know what comes first here, the chicken or the egg. Um, you know, there's that famous quote um, by Aristotle who said, there's no great genius without some touch of madness. <laughs> and uh, I don't know about you, sometimes I feel like the, I got a lot more madness going on in my head than genius. But if you're a founder, if you're an entrepreneur, or even if you work in entrepreneurial businesses, I, th- you know, I, I have, I, look, let me share with you my experience. I think the first thing is we all need to be aware of this. And um, we need to be aware of it in ourselves and we need to be aware of it in our entrepreneurial leaders. And if you're somebody who's prone to this stuff, as I am, um, I have tried to create a structure. So the second thing I've tried to do is create a structure for myself in my life um, that acknowledges who I am and that while some of this stuff is not fun, um, it, it, there's also a, a flip side to it, which is, you know, some, some of the wacky is what makes you innovative, but having the wacky can be hard sometimes. So creating a structure that works and here's how I've done it in my life. Number one, you know, I've been through a lot of training, I've done therapy and I've tried to get my arms around myself, right. And to become a self-actualized person and a self-aware person. And as part of that, I have to understand that I am prone to some of this stuff. And so I try to use my IQ, that is to say my intelligence, to manage my EQ, that is to say my emotions, so that when my emotions get the best of me, even if I'm feeling really shitty, at least at some level I know that this is an overreaction and that this too will pass. So I've tried to train myself to be self-aware in this regard. The second thing I've done uh, around creating a structure is I have people in my life who know me and love me. And when I'm in a dark place, um, they know how to support me, how to love me through it, and also not to put up with it for too long. Um, You know, to kick me in my butt when uh, 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 I've been sort of wallowing in my own pity party for too long. Um, and that might be something that would work for you. The other thing I would say to you, so the third thing I would say based on my own experience, and look, of course, you know, I am not a healthcare professional. I am not a doc. I am none of those things. <laughs> I'm just an entrepreneur with a podcast. Um, but the third thing I tell you is to get help. If you are feeling this way, if you are prone to this way, there is no shame in getting help. And that help can come from Um, you know, setting up a group of people in your life that you can talk to. It may be getting professional help if that's required. Um, It may, may mean talking to a doctor, talking to some kind of a therapist. But look, we don't have a life if we don't have mental health. And we need, just like we can proactively design our life and our business, we can proactively design our mental health by getting in front of this thing. And if that means an informal group of friends, if that means a formal you know, mastermind group or some other group that you get together with where you can talk openly. Uh, I have some dear friends who are, by way of example, in Alcoholics Anonymous, and that it, it provides tremendous uh, power and stability for them in their lives. 
And uh, if you need to seek out professional help, by all means, do that. And if you're somebody who is having thoughts of hurting yourself, I want to ask you to just stop right now. Reach out to the people who love you in your life. And if required, um, call suicide prevention. There's no harm in that. But please don't take that final action because it's never, it's never as bad based on my experience as we think it is. So the suicide prevention hotline in the United States is 1-800-273-8255. 800-273-8255. Um, I'll, I'll, we'll also have a link to uh, the suicidepreventiononline.org in, uh, in the show notes. So look, I know this is a tough topic, but I think it's an important one. We need to shine the light on our mental health. Um, we want to design legendary lives and legendary businesses, and taking responsibility for our mental health is a huge part of that. And uh, if you feel this way, know that you're not alone. Know that it's actually pretty normal for founders and entrepreneurs to have some wacky in them, and know that a lot of other people have gone through this and design legendary lives, and those people are there to help you if and when you need that help. Thank you so much. I deeply, deeply appreciate you hanging out with me, listening to this podcast, and uh, I look forward to hanging out with you on another episode of Follow Your Different very soon.